anything about the breeders or anything like that? We were just trying to make sure it's not coming from a puppy mill or something. Oh, no. you know? yeah. New Jersey laws are the toughest laws in the United States. Hey, it's tough. 30, 40, 50 puppies a week. I cannot sell a puppy mill dog. It has gotcha. to be a USDA licensed kennel. They are top quality. I can 100% guarantee they are not puppy mills. Do you know like where they come from? Because we want to make sure it's not like a puppy mill. They're all USDA certified breeders. Okay. Um, it's also illegal in New Jersey to purchase from puppy mills. Are the dogs kept in like cages or are they in a yard? No, no like not a, at all. They're never they're not, cages. They're not, they're wire cages. They're never okay. cages. Jersey's laws are the strictest actually in the country where we get our dogs from. Oh, so you've been to the breeders though? Uh, some of them, not all of them, of course. Okay. I sell to a pet store. He's got uh, several pet stores in New Jersey and he buys 90% of my puppies. He kind of comes and looks around and they don't yeah. do like an inspection or anything like that. Do you know if all the breeders have play yards for the dogs? I mean, yeah, they all do. <laughs> She isn't used to being on the loose and just if yeah. she's in the kennel all the time, then... That's what she knows, right? Yeah. yeah. We're trying to make sure if we get a pup that uh, it's not coming from a puppy. Let me tell you about where my puppies come from. Okay. They're all in the Midwest. You know, we're not talking horrific puppy mills or anything yeah. that you hear. We're just trying to make sure it's not a place where like dogs are in like cages. No. These are professional breeders. Do they like skip breeding cycles and stuff? Oh yeah. Or they do? Okay. Absolutely. You have to skip every cycle or something like that. No? No, you don't mess with any. Okay. All my breeders have to be USDA licensed, inspected, okay. and regulated. Is the USDA, are they really harsh? No. When you spend that kind of money on a building, then you better have a lot of dogs and sell volume in order to make it pay off. Do people from the store regularly go out and meet them? Or is that, yeah. So, and hey, if you don't- I go. You go? I go. Oh, so you've been to all the breeders? To a lot of the breeders. To a lot, okay. Do the breeders keep dogs in like, cages or do they have space to run? Or, they all get a chance to run around, they live each. Okay, so it's not like little wire cages or oh, something. No. It's... <laughs> Did the breeders that you use, they have like dozens or hundreds of dogs or do they just have a few dogs at a time? Or... They try to stay with people who only have 20 adults that okay. they breed with. How many head of dog do you have? Do they skip breeding cycles or do they? It's usually once a year because the dog will have a heat every twice a year. A good breeder should skip once a Skip, year. okay. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm not skipping, skipping uh, cycles. New Jersey is the strictest state when it comes to where you can get the puppies from in the entire country. They're not kept in wire cages? No, 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 no nothing okay. like that. Is there a lot of human interaction with the dogs and the puppies? A lot of the time it's family businesses. They have, you know, kids and families and aunts and uncles all working together. My rule of thumb is I want six puppies out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What you think? Most of them, just to paint the picture, are more like families, kids, and everything like that, and they have them like interact with them and actually take care of the, uh, the puppies. Oh, oh, really? Like the kids um, are playing with the puppies? Yeah. Seen places that have like doggy treadmills, so like when mom can't go really? outside and it's cold, they can actually still get around. Really? Okay, because like, what I'm wondering is like, do they have dogs in cages or no. is it like. No. So all the dogs have access to like the ground and. Like, I, I assume y'all visited AJ's, AJ's Angels. Angel. Okay, all I did was I put AJ's Angels into Google Maps and that's what comes up. Okay. Like, have y'all visited that? 
or personally, no. Yeah. Um, but we do have breeder representatives who go out. AJ's Angels. AJ's Angels. I put okay. Angels, yep. Do they have like space for like dogs to like play and run or do you know? Okay. The breeding they don't keep them in the cage. Do they have dogs in cages or oh, the no? No, 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 no. They don't no. keep dogs in cages. No, okay. no, 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 no. You're not gonna have that puppy mill atmosphere. No, no. Okay. They're gonna they 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 can't. They sell them to me, they can't. Do you know anything about like the breeder conditions? Like, do they keep them in? Specifically, no. You don't know if they like skip breeding cycles or how long they breed them for, or if they have hundreds of dogs or two no, I don't dogs. Know. Okay. I don't. You don't know anything about like how they keep the dogs if they're in a yard or in cages or if they're in, uh, mm -hmm. don't know. You don't know anything about like the conditions of their breeding practices or nothing. Other than having their government license number, which is a law for me to have. Yeah. But so, you don't know how, like, how long they breed them for, or if they skip breeding cycles, and they do something they like that. They should, but you don't know. You usually try to breed them every cycle, like, would you I do. <laughs> Mostly online, and then I've also got a guy out of New Jersey that owns five pet stores, and he comes picks up these own puppies. English Bulldogs, Yorkies, Maltese, Chihuahuas, and Shih Tzus. Yeah, 50 Chihuahuas. 50 Chihuahua breeders? Yes. Wow. Yes. Saben de dónde eran como granjas de cachorros o la casa, okay, granjas de cachorros, okay. They can't okay. be a puppy mill, the government would not list, license a puppy mill to breed dogs. Do they breed them every cycle? Do they skip breeding cycles? Oh, they skip. They, they, they skip, they, okay. They make sure they follow the guidelines on how to do it. Okay, is that USDA guidelines? Yes. They are so strict with anything. You can have a cobweb on the wall and they get shut down. Do you know like how long they breed them for? Like how many years they breed? Well, moms for? are only bred a max of two times. It's, I think okay. for New Jersey laws, they can only have five dogs, I believe. Does the USDA basically ensure that they're not puppy mills? Like, is yes. that is that yes. what? Yes. 